We have shown you how to position layers statically in 3D space. Now we're going to show you how to move them in space. So I have three layers here. They're just three simple container layers with different colors that are all 400 by 400. You can see when we rotate the page here, everything is flat. So basically, it's a 2D page at this point. The first thing we're going to do is create a move effect for the red box. You'll see that I'm going to use the new depth move, which is new to the 3D motion book tool. Let's give it an easing function so that it moves slowly at first, then gets faster, and then moves slowly at the end of the animation. You can see as it moves away from you, because we animated the layer away from us, the red box gets smaller. So let's go ahead and move the green layer, and we're going to move it further away from us. So before, we moved the red layer 200, so let's move this one out 400. Finally, let's do another move effect on the blue layer. The only thing that differs in these three effects is the depth parameter. You can see that the blue layer is the smallest because it's moved the furthest away from us. To get a better sense of how this actually looks in 3D, let's use our Page Rotate widget. Let's get a side view of it and replay our animation. This gives you a better sense of how those three layers are moving in 3D space. We could also take a look at it right from the side. Let's rewind the animation and play it again. You can see how those layers are moving in space.